Today, I'm gonna to show you guys a quick and easy way to record a podcast. What's going on everyone? Back with another episode of Stuff and Things and today I'm doing something a little bit different. As some of you may know, I have recently started a podcast and when looking around on the internet to find the best, easiest, most streamlined way to do it, I really didn't come across much information. So that brings me to this video where I can show you guys how I set up a podcast in the easiest way possible. The only things I really need to do this are my computer, a USB microphone, which is actually optional, as well as a few pieces of free software, which you probably already have on your computer. This specific setup up right here allows me to travel around and record a podcast no matter where I'm at. And then the free software that I use allows me to have friends and guests on the podcast without them being in the same place as me. This definitely isn't the end all be all situation. However, it is a very simple setup. And then hopefully what I show you in this video might point you guys in the right direction. I'm going to be leaving a couple of links and more detailed instructions in the description down below. So check that out. And without further ado, let's get into it. So to start off this example, there are a few programs that I use, one being GarageBand because it's free on my Mac. I use GarageBand to record myself, my audio through this microphone, which is not actually necessary. If you're using headphones, you can use the built-in microphone on these or as well as the built-in microphone in your computer. When I open this up here, you will see that I already have my podcast default set up. I'll actually go into this in a little bit to show you guys how to set it up from scratch. For capturing my friend's audio, I'm going to be using Discord because I already use it for any of my Patreon subs. This is also free to use. I really like the interface. And the voice channels are surprisingly pretty clear if you set them up correctly. I'll leave a download link where you can get this down below, but you could also use programs like FaceTime or Skype, anything that really takes audio and brings it over the internet. The other two programs I have left in the description down below, one of them being Soundflower and the other one being Line In. Soundflower basically creates a virtual audio output. This will take the input from my microphone and from Discord and then kind of wrap it all in one nice package. That way GarageBand can accept it. It. And then line in is the middleman in all of this and it's kind of technical, but you'll figure it out as you go. So once you get both of those programs installed, Soundflower will actually be running in the background. There really is no user interface for it, at least for the version that I'm using. And then Line In will show up as a normal application. I have this pinned to my dock because I use it every single week when we record. So simply open up Line In and then you'll get your different preferences right here. Now, before we get into messing with the different preferences of all of these applications, first we're gonna have to go up here to System Preferences. You're gonna go into your sound. Starting with output, you're obviously going to want to be wearing headphones when doing this, that way you can monitor other people's audio. So the output is currently on headphone, however, if I unplug my headphone, you will see that it goes to the built-in. So right now, any sound will be outputting through the speakers, plug in your headphones, now it's coming through the headphones. That's how your computer should be set up already, however, you will notice below there you'll see Soundflower 2 channel and Soundflower 64 channel. That's what you're actually gonna switch over to when you move over to input. If you installed Soundflower correctly, you will see that they showed up as options here, so we're gonna to wanna to select Soundflower 64 channel. Input and output volume can change depending on what type of microphone setup you're using, so this is how it is, and this is how I'm gonna leave it. Next thing we're gonna do is go into the Line In program that you have recently downloaded. The input is going to be set to whatever microphone you're using, so if you don't have a USB microphone like this and you're just using the microphone on your headphones or the microphone in your computer, then you will select Built In. In some cases, this will also show up as system default. Under Output, again, you're going to select Soundflower 64 channel, and then once everything is all set up, you're gonna to wanna to click Play Through. I already had that selected, so as you can see, my computer is picking up all the different audio from this microphone. Under output, you're also gonna to wanna to click on select, go down to advanced, and then set up the settings how you see them right here. On input, everything should be set to default, but on output, you want the left channel set to three and the right channel set to four. Click OK. You can go ahead and minimize that, and next we will go into Discord or Skype or whatever you're using to record other people's audio. Once in Discord, you're gonna go up to the top and click on Discord, Preferences, and then Voice and Video. For the input device, you're gonna to wanna to have your microphone selected. If you're using an external microphone, it should show up here, Yeti stereo microphone. Or if you're using something like a microphone on your headphones or built into your computer, you're going to want to select default. For the output device, select Soundflower 64 channel, and that's pretty much it. Those are the preferences for that, so now we can go down and open GarageBand. Now, like I said, once I had this file set up, I save it as a podcast default. That way, every time that I go back to record each week, I can simply open the default file and I'm set to record right away. I will show you how to set up multiple tracks like this. However, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is go up to GarageBand and Preferences. 
Under preferences, you're gonna to wanna to have the output device set to system settings, again being the headphones, and the input device, Soundflower 64. Once that is all set up, you're gonna to go to File, New, and you're gonna create an entirely new track. Now when creating a new project, you can either select voice, but in this case, I'm just gonna choose empty project, starting completely from scratch. Now you're of course gonna to wanna to choose the microphone to record your audio, and then set the input to input one. Click Create, and you'll see a new track has just been created. This is gonna be the track that I use to record other people's audio through Discord, so I'm gonna title this one Discord. And now I'm going to have a separate track to record my own audio. Up in the left-hand corner here, click the plus, microphone again, and then this time you're gonna select input three. Now I don't know why it's input three. It would make sense that input two would work. However, for some reason with Soundflower, input three just works. So select that as your input and click create. I'm gonna rename this one to the name of my microphone. I'm using a blue Yeti, and that's it for both of your tracks. As you will see, the Yeti is already picking up my audio, which is a good start. And then there's just a couple more things that you might wanna to do to make podcasting through GarageBand a little bit easier. Right up in the top here, you're gonna to wanna to click on this music note and metronome symbol, change it to time. That way you can see how long you're actually recording your podcast for. I typically record for about an hour, so once I get close to like 58, 59 minutes, that's when I know to wrap things up. And then on the left hand side here, you're going to want to click on control. This will bring up your compressor and different EQs, things like that. On the left hand side of that, you're going to click on the information button and then whichever track you have selected at the time, it will show you the input. The Discord track is on input Soundflower 1 and the Yeti track is on input Soundflower 3. One more thing that you're going to want to do is right click on each of the track, go to track header components and show record enable. Now you will see on the tracks there are two little record icons here. You can click those to on the track whenever you're ready to record. Next to the record icon is also a monitoring icon. You wanna click on that for your Discord track because all of the audio is coming from Discord through line in into GarageBand. Now I'll throw a headphone in that way if anyone is in the voice chat, I will be able to hear them. Under Discord, I'm going to go back to my server, click on podcast. Discord is nice for this because you can set up different roles so only my friends and people that I want to join the podcast, voice chat will actually be allowed to join. Now once you and your friends are in the voice chat and everything is working, you can go back to GarageBand, arm both of the tracks to record, which it already is, and then simply click record. Now you will hear my audio is coming through my Blue Yeti microphone, through all of the different programs that I just showed you, and it is recording in GarageBand. Let me see if I can get a friend to join me on the podcast server, that way you guys can actually get an idea of what it's gonna sound like. Check, check, what's good? What's up, homie? Inch you know. I'm recording a video on how to podcast, so I just showed everyone how to run through our setup. Uh, did they hear what I said, why I couldn't get on here fast enough? <laughs> nope, I'm going to edit this one. <laughs> our podcasts are not edited, but this video is, so you're welcome, people. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. <laughs> all right, that's all that I wanted. Thanks, dude. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. So that is it. That's the entire setup. I hope I went over everything correctly. And if you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments down below. However, everyone's setup might be a little bit different, so it might be kind of hard to answer some of those questions. I will also leave more detailed instructions on the exact settings that you need in the preferences for each specific application, as well as links to where you can download everything that you saw me just set up right now. If you guys are interested in checking out my podcast, I always leave links to those in the description down below as well. It's available on YouTube, SoundCloud, iTunes, and Google Play. The way I finalize everything is simply stopping this recording and then export it to a disc, put in any extra music or anything like that that I need. And then I upload it to YouTube, I upload it to SoundCloud, which creates an RSS feed, which I send to iTunes and Google Play. And there's a lot of post-production that actually goes into it, so I could save that for another video if you guys are interested in it. So yeah, that's basically it for how I set up my podcast. It's nice and simple, it sounds pretty decent, and it's mobile, so I can take this setup with me wherever I go and record with whoever all around the world on a moment's notice. So if you guys are new to the channel, consider clicking subscribe because I make new videos every week, and that is going to be all for today. So as always, thank you guys for watching. And I'll talk to you in the next one.